Thank you to the ones who already joined Ambient Caliber. Ambient Caliber is a new music channel with all kinds of ambient and other music mixes. Check the link in the video description to learn more. Also still available Windows 10 and 11 retail keys. Still the low price of $12.50 only, so check out the link in the video description if you would like to purchase one. The Witcher 3 Next Gen patch was released a week or two, three ago, and yeah, it just looks absolutely amazing. What even looks more amazing is the first person mod, which has been out for quite a while now, but it also works with the next gen version of The Witcher 3. So um, the installation instructions are not that super, super straightforward. So I thought I would create this little video tutorial on how to explain and show you what you need to do to have everything installed correctly. All right, so let's start with modding our Witcher 3 to have the first person view by ourselves. The first thing you want to do is create a folder on your desktop and example where you have easy access to uh, the downloads we're going to do. So create a folder here, an example on the desktop or anywhere else and name it something like the Witcher 3 mod downloads. Then you want to also create a shortcut to your main game folder from the Witcher 3. And you can find it in your, uh, if you're using the Steam version under Steam library, Steam apps, common, The Witcher 3. If you're using the GOG version, it has a different folder structure. I'm not familiar with that, but uh, it's the same way that you need to create a shortcut to your Witcher 3 main game folder. All right, so do that first, and then you want to go to the mod we're going to use, that's uh, Jervent First Person. So um, this is the mod we're going to install. So let's start with the installation. First, we want to install this one, the ModShard Imports version next gen from this uh, mod page, the Community Patch Shared Imports. You want to go to Files, and then you want to download this file for the next gen. So I want to make sure um, I'm using the next gen version, and I sh think you should too, but if for any reason you're still using the classic, you can download this as well. But everything I'm going to tell you is for the next gen version. So download this file to your created folder here, the Witcher 3 main uh, mod downloads, then open it up. And then also open up your Witcher 3 main game folder. So let's um, drag it like this, it's easier. All right, so what we want to do now is open up that file mod shared imports. And you want to go to the Witcher 3 main game folder. And if you're currently modding your Witcher 3 already, or you did mod it with a couple of mods, an example already with the Witcher 3 mod manager or manually, you already have this folder mods. If you are completely new to modding to the Witcher 3 like I was, I had to create this folder manually because it was not here and I never did mod Witcher 3. So if you're new as well, make sure this folder is created. So manually created here mods. And then you want to extract this file mod shared imports to this folder mods and place it there manually. So extract it from the folder or drag and drop it as it is. So that's step one. And um, to clarify, I'm not going to do these things myself since I already did do it, but you should do and uh, follow these instructions. The next file we're going to need is GFB camera and you can install it with the Witcher 3 mod manager. If this is the only mod you're going to use and you're not planning on installing any mod uh, later, you can use the manual version. But since I saw some interesting mods for The Witcher 3 I might want to install later, I strongly suggest you're also going to download The Witcher 3 Mod Manager. So open up The Witcher 3 Mod Manager and also go to Files here on this Jervan First Person page and you want to download the uh, the Gerald first uh, person camera mod for um, yeah for this page and save it in your downloads folder. Then also you want to go to the Witcher 3 mod manager page and click here and download this file as well. So again, it's not necessarily needed if you only want to have first person, but yeah, I would strongly suggest you use the mod manager uh, because maybe you want to install mods later on and that's way easier with the Witcher 3 mod manager. All right, so what you want to do first is extract the Witcher 3 mod manager and you want to actually place this mod manager to a folder where it can stay permanently. So for now I did save it just here on my desktop because I'm going to do this uh, stuff uh, later again and place it to a folder, an example C programs or C mod tools, whatever you like, um, but a place where it can stay permanently because this is going to be your mod manager from now on. So once you did uh, put this folder somewhere where it can stay permanently, 
open it up and then open up the Witcher 3 mod manager. Probably first of all, it will ask you now to set up the Witcher 3 mod manager and uh, yeah, no, uh, point out the location where you have the Witcher 3 installed, that kind of stuff. So set that up and then you will sh should see something like this. Now, the same way as you're used to mod organizer, maybe click here on the add button and you want to add the GFP camera mod. So I'm not going to do that since I already did do that, but you uh, should do that and you'll probably see this. If this is not enabled, make sure the checkbox enabled is, uh, is checked so that you're sure it has been installed correctly. And then we finish step two with that. Then we need to install this patch, GFP EXE patch in order to prevent NPCs from disappearing if they get too close to you. So go to the files here again, and you want to download this file, the, <coughs> sorry about that, the GFP EXE patch. Okay, so once you did download that as well in your mods folder, uh, where there is, here it is. You want to go back to your Witcher 3 main game folder. And instead of mods, you want to go to your bin folder here in the Witcher 3 main game folder. And you want to go to x64 underscore direct x12. So this is the next gen version. Don't get confused by placing it into your x64 folder because that will not work. So open this folder up, x64 direct x12. And then you want to drag and drop this patch in here. And as you can see, I already have it, so I'm not going to do that. And once it is in here, you want to right click on it and run as administrator. And then it will patch this uh, with the, with as a result that NPCs will now not disappear anymore if you get close to them. So that's also uh, another step finished. So now we have some optional modules for first person combat. I strongly recommend not to do that because um, in The Witcher 3 combat, a lot of times you have multiple enemies and you want to definitely be sure what's happening behind you in third person so you can easily, uh, you know, uh, dodge and strafe and uh, those kind of things. So I only suggest using first person in game for exploration, not for combat. So we can skip all this. And now, um, if this is the only mod you're installing, you probably can skip, skip script merger. Um, but I'm nevertheless going to show it because, um, yeah, you know, it never hurts to, to check that the scripts are okay. So you want to open up script merger. You want to click on files, download script merger to your Witcher 3 downloads folder. So that's here, extract it, and you will have the Witcher 3 script merger. So again, we only have one mod installed. It's probably not going to complain for script uh, stuff. But anyway, you know, click here on refresh to see if it has any conflicts, and then you can here merge the scripts. I am not super familiar with the Witcher 3 modding, but I do read on every mod, you know, you have to merge scripts. So nevertheless, I would definitely download this mod script merger anyhow, because you might need it in the future. And that's pretty much it. So we need to now um, go to the game and then we need to set a couple of things up. So open up the Witcher 3 and then I'll see you guys in game. So welcome in game. Um, so this is The Witcher 3 in first person. And uh, yeah, it just looks really great. I keep saying that the next gen version looks super, super awesome. Runs pretty well. Um, but yeah, there are a couple of things we can still configure in for the first person. And we should configure, I should say, press escape. You want to go to options. You want to go to mods, which is a new section probably for you. You want to go to German first person. And here, first thing you want to check is this, auto switch to third person view. And here you have a list of options where you can select the, uh, yeah, the on and on and off switch to where you want to have the game switch to third person view, um, which condition. What I suggest you do is put everything on except for the horse riding. And the reason for that is that horse riding in first person works pretty well. But for the rest, an example, combat and all that other stuff, you definitely want to have third person so you're able to see what's happening around you. So that's my suggestion. Set everything on, on except horse riding. Then we also have a field of view mode, uh, field of view options. And normally I like higher field of views in uh, Bethesda games like Fallout 4 and Skyrim. But here with the first person mod, 75 looks the best. I think maybe you can go a little bit higher. You can experiment this for yourself because it will update real time. But yeah, 75 is, I think, somewhat of a regular sweet spot. It looks good. So it's up to you. You can experiment with, it, experiment with this as well if you like. 
And the last thing is uh, if you want for some reason to play the game just in third person mode like it originally is for for um, yeah for what uh, any reason whatsoever you can disable this mod here first person view can disable it completely so yeah that's also an option if you like for the rest that's pretty much it what i really love about this game if you press the home button it will hide the hut uh, and, sh and view the hut so if you want to create some screenshots or movies like i love to do you can yeah you can do that now without the hut without having to go to the options menu to completely disable the interface and that's pretty much it for the tutorial, the small tutorial uh, here. You're good to go now to explore the game in first person view. So if you're curious about my video settings uh, and my hardware, I'm currently running an i7 12700K and an RTX 3090. Fun fact is what I understood, if you there is no GPU in the world currently which can run this game at the highest settings with Ray Tracing Ultra. For that, you need to use DLSS still in order to be able to run everything super well. So uh, to show you that, if you go to options, video, uh, graphics, I have an RTX 3090, but I also have everything on Ray Tracing Ultra, um, but I do have DLSS on auto because else it will not work. Still, however, on very uh, specific areas, especially forests, this game FPS for me dips to 50 FPS sometimes. Um, so yeah, my frame rate usually is 60 to 100 uh, in, in the outdoor areas, villages like here, you know. Uh, but in dense forests, it sometimes can dip to 50 uh, something. So that's weird. I'm not really sure why. I did read somewhere in the comments that it has been uh, as a result of CPU optimization, strangely enough. Because my CPU is pretty, pretty good. You know, it's from the, the Elder Lake generation i7. But yeah, anyway, for the rest it runs super fine. Oh yeah, there's, before I forget, uh, there is a bug with shadows in combination with ray tracing that you don't have a head with uh, first person view. That's the only thing. For the rest, everything works fine. And you know, for me personally, The Witcher 3 took me three attempts in order to get into the game. Uh, when it was released, I think in 2016, I tried it. I uh, yeah, didn't really get into it. Then at a Steam sale, I got the game, uh, the expansions, you know, so I tried it again. Again, couldn't really get into the mechanics and all. Uh, but now the next gen patch arrived and, you know, this first person mod has been there because I really wanted to explore the game in first person view. And now we actually can, um, which is just amazing. And this game is so great, you know, not only in terms of story of monsters, you know, characters, uh, but also the many possibilities you can have, uh, you know, all the crafting systems. There's so much for me to explore still because it it's, can be pretty overwhelming at the beginning. Uh, but also, you know, quality of life improvements like other sort functions. Um, those kind of things really help a lot. Uh, yeah, getting through this game when it comes, you know, looting, not being constantly over encumbered, that kind of stuff. It's really, really a great, complete game. I think that's the best term maybe to put it. It's a very complete game in everything, you know, in story, in graphics, uh, characters, uh, dialogue, um, yeah, interesting locations. You know, here I'm just randomly r running through the world and everything looks fantastic. That's so well done. And uh, let's see, this is a good example that I'm out of switching to third person view. So I can demonstrate the combat with you guys. Let's see. I'm pretty new still to the combat, so it's uh, sometimes a little bit getting used to it. No, come on. Alright, so what happens with combat if you... Um, if you uh, defeated all the enemies, it will switch back to first person mode, which is nice. That means you have an automated confirmation that you uh, there are no enemy creatures uh, left. So I would say for the rest, thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this and then hope to see you at one of my next videos. So take care and bye bye.